So let's talk about the whale. Uh, I can't look at that picture anymore. So we gotta put something else. Can we on. blow that that's up and make worst. that a poster in the green room? I hate that picture. That's the worst picture. It's so amazing. Go to my now. That one is okay, but I definitely look like I'm going through something. <laughs> mm. Um, so the whale. I won't. I'm not gonna go. I I'm gonna say a cuss word. Shit. I mean, it's a shit show no, or just it's, the. It's so depressing. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Because I never saw this other one either. Is it the white man's version of Precious? No, I think, and I have to be careful because I think Pre so. Precious is. I mean, that, I heard that was a devastating story. Yeah, I that like I I don't know anything about that story to compare it, so I can't say. Oh, you didn't, you didn't see I didn't it. even see it, so I don't know. Yeah. I but. I will say I didn't see either, but. this movie, you know, the reason why the whale is so good is because you know somebody like this, mm -hmm. like you know someone like this. Everyone knows someone like. And this the character man. is just like, just like. Oh, and he's the sweetest. He's the okay. nicest person. Yeah, break it down so I don't have okay. to watch it. So here's what happens: He went through a tragedy. He's a uh, creative writing teacher for a college okay. course, okay. and he does his Zoom classes, you know, okay. but he keeps his camera off and he talks to his students, and he's a brilliant writer. And he's got so much compassion. And he's such a sweet person in the movie. You're just like, man, this guy's great. He was uh, married and had a child with this woman. And then he came out probably four years, five years into their relationship and was like, hey, you know, this is who I am. And he, he he's with a man. Oh, okay. And they have a relationship and they're very happy. But then that guy dies, like unexpectedly. So then Brendan Fraser's character goes through just a total depression mm -hmm. where he's just eating everything inside or whatever. And he gives himself uh, congestive heart failure. So he's dying the whole movie and he knows he's going to die and it's happening and he doesn't really care because he hates life. But then his daughter tries to reconnect because she needs mm -hmm. his help. And so it's kind of a redemption. Well, in, in the story, excuse me, um, like how long ago was it that his, his, uh, his lover died? His lover died. Years, years, days. It's been years. So, it, so it's a. Uh, it, there's like a, a ramp up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know it's been years, and they don't necessarily. So the timeline makes it seem like she, his daughter, who's now graduating from high school, was like probably four when he left, mm -hmm. and then that person was probably alive for like five years before they died. And so it seems like he's had like five or six years of grieving, like mm -hmm. from the movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I got. Now, somebody right. who's seen it and a, a hundred times or watched it more than once, which I don't know if you could. Right. Uh, they're gonna correct I can't, me. I on. haven't even seen the full trailer. Oh. Like just seeing, so like, the trailer, just seeing images from it. I'm like, ooh.